Thank you. Help them down. That's what I can say. Go this way. They have sex. Go this way. They have sex. That, that, when I go, you catch me. That, that's it. That was an evening with Bobby Ramson. <laughs> What the fuck is Bubby Khan? Who gives a shit about Bubby Khan? If she don't buy a book, fuck her. <laughs> nice to see you haven't lost the beat through these years. Right for me, you go to Century Village, West Palm Beach. Once again, a nice round of applause for a fellow performer. <laughs> I'm so proud to be in a book that says old Jewish comedians because the worst curse in show business when we all started and we would work Las Vegas or we'd work anything the first thing you were told was don't be too Jewish don't be proud of your ethnic background don't mention it on stage so if a, a New York comedian would come to Las Vegas be it Alan King, Buddy Hackett, Chevy Green they would, the answer was Bosch Belt Comedian comes to Las Vegas. That meant Jew is in town. <laughs> but I'm so proud that we stand tall. And if you look at three editions of these books, you will see comedians that made millions of people laugh. And we're proud that we're the Jews that made everybody in this country laugh. And we don't have to close uh, the door of our card anymore. Thank you, Drew. That's it. That's it. Thank you. I'll, I'll tell you a great uh, story now. The, the, I think one of the finest phonologists that ever lived was Alan King. He was our rabbit and he was the nicest guy who would hold court at the bar every night. And Alan King told me this joke. It's not my joke, it's Alan King's joke. And that, whenever I work in uh, Florida, anyway, I do this joke in tribute to Alan King. A very successful furrier has one daughter. His daughter's his life. Daughter comes to him and says, Daddy, I want to get married. And the father says, Terrific. This is what I live for. He says, well, there's a slight problem. He says, what's the problem? The boy's a Hasid. He says, well, send him in tomorrow. I'll, I'll look at him. Boy comes in the next day, black hat, pay us, sits his hang, long black coat. He took one look and says, for this, I had to get a deep fix. <laughs> he says, young man, I understand you love my daughter. Yes, sir, with all my heart and soul. Let me ask you a few questions. What have you been doing in your life? I've been a professional student in my life. I studied the Torah, the Talmud. Well, how did you live? He said, I pray God would provide. He said, you want to marry my daughter? Yes, sir. Who will support my daughter? I will pray God will provide. <laughs> what about children? We'll have a lot of children. Who will support these children? I will pray God will provide. With that, the daughter walks in and says, Daddy, do you like him? He said, like him. I love him. He thinks I'm God. <laughs>